Hi, in this video we are going to show you how you can get user input in your programs. So first, programs are much more fun when we can get input from the user. Then we can get data from them and do something interesting with it. So there are three functions we're going to use to get user input. Read line, read int, and read float. And each of those takes a prompt. So let's see how we use those. Well, we use read line when we want to read strings of text from the user. So if we wanted to get the user's name, we could use the code below. Their name is equal to read line and then enter name. And then the value that they enter uh, gets stored in a variable called name. If we want to read integers from the user, we can use readint. So we say var age equals readint, enter age. That will pop up a dialog and they can type in their age and then we can print the age. If we want to read floats or real numbers from the user, we can use read float. So var cost equals read float, enter cost. So let's go into our editor and see what that looks like. So let's read the name from the user. So we say var name equals read line name, and then we can print name is plus name. Now we can say var age equals read int age, print line age is plus age. So we're using read line to read a string into the variable name, and then we're printing it out here. And then we're using readint to read an integer into the variable age, and then we're printing that out. So let's run this program and see what happens. So it says name, and then I can type Jeremy, and then age, 22. And there we have our program. So that name, we typed in Jeremy, and it printed out the name is Jeremy. And age, we typed in 22, and we printed out the age is 22. So that is the basics of getting user input.